Hello everyone, in this video I am just going to explain you about the working principle of ultrasonic sensor HCSR04. Let's get started. So this is the basic ultrasonic sensor HCSR04 which you can find in most of the projects and many applications where distance needs to be measured and this is a basic ultrasonic sensor which is a very cost effective so many of the people will be using this sensor in their projects and in this video I am just going to discuss about some of the functionalities of this sensor and then we will discuss about how you can measure distances using this sensor. So let's start with the physical appearance of this sensor. You can see this one is the transmitter part from which the ultrasonic sounds will be transmitted from the sensor. And this one on the right is the receiver part which is useful for receiving the ultrasonic sound which is reflected back from the object. So this is a reflective type ultrasonic sensor. So this transmitter will be transmitting the ultrasonic sound and this receiver will be receiving the ultrasonic sound. Nextly, let's discuss about the pin nodes of this sensor. The first and foremost pin is the VCC pin through which you just want to power up this sensor module with the power supply of plus 5 volt. And the second pin is the trigger pin of the ultrasonic sensor and this is an input pin of the module. So you just want to trigger the module with the high pulse so that the transmitter will be transmitting the ultrasonic sounds. And the third pin is the echo pin and this pin is the output pin through which we will be fetching a pulse output of certain time. So the high pulse time that we fetch as an output from this echo pin will be equivalent to the time taken by the ultrasonic sound waves from being transmitted from the transmitter of the sensor till it is being received by the receiver of the same sensor. So the time taken for the ultrasonic sound from being transmitted from the sensor and till it reaches the receiver of the sensor will be converted into electric signal and then it is given as a high pulse signal through this echo pin which is the output pin of the sensor and the fourth pin is nothing but the ground pin of the sensor which must be connected to the power supply ground now let's discuss about the basic principle of operation of this sensor so the ultrasonic sensor is placed on the left and the target object is placed on the right let's take the object to be a wall for now now what happens is when you trigger the sensor what happens is the ultrasonic sound waves will be transmitted from the transmitter of the sensor and it goes on in the free path of air and it attains the object. When it attains the object it will be reflected back from the object and again it will be reaching the ultrasonic receiver in the module. So this is the process it will be transmitted from the transmitter end and the sound waves will be reflected back from the object and after the reflection it will be again received by the receiver in the sensor. So this is the basic principle of operation of this sensor as I said this is an reflective type ultrasonic sensor. Nextly let's discuss about the sequence of operations that needs to be done for measuring the distance using the sensor. Initially, as I said, the trigger pin is used as an input pin for the ultrasonic sensor and you just want to provide a 10 microsecond pulse for triggering this sensor. And after producing this 10 microsecond pulse in the trigger pin of the sensor, the sensor itself will be generating 840 kilohertz ultrasonic sound waves from the transmitter of the sensor. And after these ultrasonic sound bursts, are given out of the module, the echo pin which serves as an output pin of the ultrasonic sensor will be producing a high pulse of required time period whose time is equivalent to the time taken by the ultrasonic signal from the transmitter of the sensor till the object and again from the object till the receiver of the sensor. So this high pulse in the echo pin of the sensor is equivalent to the time taken by the ultrasonic waves 
from transmitter till the receiver end the whole time taken by the ultrasonic sound is converted into electric signal and then it is produced as an high pulse in the output echo pin so this is the output that we fetch from the sensor and we will be calculating the time for which this echo pin is made high and using this time we will be further calculating the distance using certain formulas so now we are just going to derive some formula for calculating the distance from the time pulse received in the echo pin of our sensor and the formula required is the basic distance formula distance is equal to speed into time here in our case the speed is nothing but the speed of air and the speed of air is known to be 340 meter per second and when I convert this value into centimeter per second I just want to multiply this value with 100 so 34,000 centimeter per second is the speed of air that is the speed in this formula and regarding the time I am just going to take the time in microseconds because the ultrasonic waves are much faster to be captured in milliseconds so we are just measuring the time in microseconds and when I substitute these two values in the above formula I will get distance is equal to 34,000 into t I am just taking it in microsecond so I will get t into 10 to the power minus 6 which is nothing but 0.000001 into t so when I multiply this value I will get the final derived formula to be distance is equal to 0.034 into t which will give the distance in centimeter and you can see from the previous slides we know that this is the output that we fetch from the echo pin and this whole high pulse is the output from the sensor and this high pulse time is equivalent to the time taken by the ultrasonic sound from the transmitter end till the receiver end so there are two processes involved you just want to understand it closer that is first process is the transmission of ultrasonic sounds from the transmitter till the object and the second process is the reception of ultrasonic sound reflected back from the object till the receiver end so the time taken from the transmitter till the receiver is equivalent to the high pulse over here so we just require only the time taken by the ultrasonic waves from the ultrasonic sensor till the object but there are two process involved over here from the sensor till the object and reflected back from the object till the receiver end so I will be dividing the value that I am getting by 2 for neglecting the reverse path so the formula becomes 0.034 into t divided by 2 centimeter or I can write 0.0171 into t centimeter which gives the distance in centimeter and one more formula that I found out from the data sheet of the same sensor is the formula for calculating the centimeters is microseconds divided by 58 so our formula is 0.0171 into t centimeter and I will just prove that this formula is equivalent to the formula that I showed right over here. I am opening the calculator and now when I divide the number 1 by 0.0171 I will get the result to be 58.47. So either you can multiply the time taken by the pulse in the echo pin by 0.0171 or you can divide the time received from the echo pin by 58 for achieving the distance in centimeter. The both the formulas are same. So you can use this formula for calculating the distance between the ultrasonic sensor and the object using the time of high pulse received from the echo pin of the sensor. So in the next lecture we are just going to interface this ultrasonic sensor to a microcontroller. See you in the next lecture. Thanks for watching.